हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जस्ट फ्रॉम थिंग्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली रियली गुड टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द कन्वर्जन ऑफ विजिटर वीजा इन टू योर वर्क परमिट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट इज इट पॉसिबल टू कन्वर्ट योर विजिटर वीजा इन टू वर्क परमिट लीगली ऑफकोर्स इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन दिस इज नॉट अलाउड बट येस इफ यू आर एलिजिबल इन दिस न्यू आई आर सी सी न्यू अपडेट दैट इज फर्स्ट इज इफ यू आर इन कैनेडा ऑन विजिटर वीजा स्टेटस second is if you are planning to come to canada on a visitor visa and you intend to apply for a work permit later and the third condition is if you are already in canada and you manage to get a job offer on work uh, sorry on visitor visa in that you will get uh, permission legally to apply for work permit now why i am uh, in the state uh, starting said that the, under normal sub, sub, circumstances this is not allowed because for this you have to go to the canada us border for flag polling now what is flag polling flag polling is the process when a person leaves and returns the to canada without crossing into usa to activate a new pr status or renewed study or work permit this is called flag polling Now I will tell you the eligibility requirements for visitor visa holders. You can apply for a work permit on a visitor visa if you are currently in Canada or outside the Canada. First condition is in Canada with valid temporary visitor visa including status or uh, status extension under the subsection of 1835 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations that is IRPR. and the second option is if you have submitted an employer specific work permit application using the application to change conditions extend my stay or remain in canada as a worker and you can use the form in this imm5710 now for getting work permit you have to do work for that you need of a letter from an employer how to get your work in canada you need to find a work in canada for applying the work permit next question is how you will find the work here because you are on a visitor visa for that you have your resume and the go on credential sites like uh, linkedin indeed glassdoor and start applying for jobs and you have to mention to the employer that you are inside the canada but you are on a visitor visa not on a work permit now the next question is how you will get the job in canada because some jobs are seasonal here and some employers who cannot find the right workers for their work like the canadian workers for their work they will hire you because there is some kind of potential in in your in your and your resume they will hire you now what happened not all the employers willing to support you through the process where the labor get an lmia approval from the government now what is lmia lmia is the labor market impact assessment because lmia is such a lengthy process and not every employer is willing to go through with this process though the process costs something to employer not to you it's around 2 uh, 1 to 2000 dollars or something but it takes a lot of efforts lots of documentation and lots of time around 3 to 4 months so it is very necessary if you are inside the canada on visitor visa and you work and you want work permit in the period of 6 months you have to get job of a letter and you have to apply for the work permit as well and all this procedure takes time for around 4 to 5 months now once you get the lmia application approved from the government the employer is going to give a of a letter like the approval of lmia and get the job letter for you and next step you have to submit the application for the work permit and for that you have to do flag polling which i use Also, already mentioned in my video. Now it's time to test your starts. Really, it's totally depend upon IRCC officer to accept or decline your application. He asks you some questions regarding your visit in Canada, why you want to work here, why you want work permit, and uh, uh, like uh, uh, how you have been uh, financially uh, supported when you are on a visitor visa, and who will support you, and uh, who will support your family back in India when you are work here, something like that. So you have to answer all his questions. confidently because it is very easy for the IRCC officer to reject your application though the process is really complicated but i would like to suggest you to avoid all these confusions and if you are legally eligible to having a work permit in canada even if you are on a visitor visa contact the immigration uh, customer service centers they will help you out though they will charge you something around 3 to 2 uh, to 3000 dollars 
but if you are eligible you will get your work permit legally in the canada even on if you are on the visitor visa this is all about today's video if you like my video press the like button hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel and share to those who need this video thank you so much